you might find electrical engineering and computer science professor Matthew Grayson lecturing in a small classroom lost in the halls of the Technological Institute at Northwestern. But during evenings this late September, Grayson, the actor, can be found on stage in Copenhagen, a Tony Award-winning play he has brought to Northwestern. When I first heard of the play Copenhagen, it certainly struck me as, hey, this is something that actually would, would actually bring together both aspects of my life. Those two completely opposite aspects of his life, a passion for science and theater, have played an important role in Grayson's early and young career. But it's never been easy to make time for both, and let alone excel at them. <laughs> not as, I'm, not, I'm 39. I'm not, I'm not that young. Yeah, I mean, I have to admit, it is kind of like balancing a freight train on the left hand and a U-boat on the right. Uh, it's, it's not easy. Uh, you have to have a lot of passion, and you have to have um, a lot of support, and um, you also have to be have to be good enough at what you do that you can that you can really get what get done what needs to get done. Before bringing Copenhagen to Northwestern, Grayson had performed and even directed theater in both Germany and the United States, in addition to conducting research at the Technical University in Munich. Copenhagen always caught his eye, though, and he helped bring the English language performance to the German university. So it's, it's a great play. It's great drama. And the thing that's exciting to me is it's drama that uses historic, real-life, scientific characters, and it brings a lot of their passion onto the stage, their passion about life and their passion about science, which for them was intertwined. Grayson interprets the role of German Nobel Prize-winning physicist Werner Heisenberg, a complicated character who comes to Copenhagen, Denmark, to visit his friend and mentor Niels Bohr and his wife Margrethe, played by British actors Mansell David and Alison Sanford Mackenzie. Uh, Heisenberg, to some extent, is a modern-day Hamlet, sort of a tragic, a tragic figure. He goes through his life, this experience of being a brilliant scientist caught inside of an oppressive totalitarian regime in Nazi Germany and being torn between his sense of duty to protect and defend his own country, which he loves, and his sense of morality. And as a, as a great philosopher, he was very aware of, of, of ethics and morality of what would happen if nuclear weapons were to end up in the wrong hands which was basically the hands of the people he was working for. Germany is where I was born. Germany is where I became what I am. Germany is all the faces of my childhood, all the hands that picked me up when I fell, all the voices that encouraged me and set me on my way, all the hearts that speak to my heart. Germany is my widowed mother and my impossible brother. Germany is my wife. Germany is our children. I have to know what I'm deciding for them. The play is a part of a new outreach initiative at McCormick called Utopia, the Engineering Transdisciplinary Outreach Project in the Arts, and it hopes to connect with students of all academic interests and backgrounds, and Grayson thinks it will leave a lasting impression. It's like a documentary being brought to life. You get to see that these were real people and to let everyone in these students realize that they are the next generation. They are the same people. They're just as alive as these people were and they'll be confronted with the same difficult decisions, and they will be put to the test, and they will have to decide how they will respond in their lives. In his own life, Grayson is quick to point out that he's a researcher and professor first, but that hobbies can come in handy at the right times. When it's nice to be able to have a hobby where you can start a project, accomplish something, and really point back to it within a period of two months and say, look, look what I did. So to some extent, um, theater, drama was a sanity check uh, to get through uh, graduate school. A man with such disparate interests and skills, Grayson recognizes some of Heisenberg in himself. But deep down, he hopes for a different ending. And when I see Heisenberg running all over the place like this, I recognize a certain of that in myself. So I hope I'll have a chance to sit still at some point, look back, measure what I've done, and, uh, and, and hopefully what I see will be, will be good. Hopefully I'll be able to reflect on it and say with relief, wow, glad that's over with, but boy, that was fun. My dear Heisenberg. My dear Bohr. Come in, come in.